who he is on this day. You hear me? Because God has done. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, glory. Because God has done marvelous things. Listen, I'm, I'm so full of emotion right now. Just telling wife of what took place, y'all. God is just so good. Let us pray. I don't want to hold you long. Get this, hit this song. Because God is, uh, y'all listen, God is just awesome. When you apply, God is awesome. When you apply, God is awesome. Hallelujah. So, Father in heaven, Lord God, we thank you now, God. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your unmerited favor. God, we thank you for what you do. We even thank you for how you even do it. So, God, I ask, Father, that you forgive us of our sins, cleanse and wash us of all iniquity, O oh God, by our thoughts and deeds, oh dear Lord. Father, create in us a clean heart, renewing us the right spirit. Father, continue, O oh God, to just flow. <laughs> God, continue to flow, Lord. Father, be with the teacher of the hour, oh God. Be in the midst now in the name of Jesus. God, for every eye that is watching, for every ear that is listening, oh God. Father, even prepare the hearts to receive what you are to what you are delivering, oh God, in the name of Jesus. God, not just the logos of it. God, not just the knowledge of your word. But God, even the application of your word, oh God. Mm. The application of your word, Father, because you are a living God. Oh, shout. And Father, we thank you right now. Mm. God, we give you glory and honor. Father, you continue to have. God, you continue to have your way, dear Lord. And we bless your name, Father. We give you glory right now. Mm. Oh, Father, I just thank you. Father, you just continue to have your way. God, we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead and run that. Listen, God is just good. God, woo, God is just good. Hold on, pause that real quick. <laughs> pause that real quick. It's so funny because I'm still hearing the same thing that you was just singing. Instead of raising it, it still resonated in me. Praise the, the songwriter says, praise the Lord, everybody. And the chorus came in and said, praise the Lord. Whoa, shot. Praise the, come on, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say. It's just that where, listen, let me just tell y'all this. I was talking to a buddy of mine today, a pastor friend of mine down in the uh, ATL. He gave me a call and he began to just let me know of a dream that he had. The dream that he had was so powerful. Hear, hear what I'm saying. The dream that he had was so powerful. To the weight that I had on my own shoulder. Just a testament of his dream. Was so awesome. My wife will tell you. I'm sitting out on my knees. Doing the lawn. Pulling weeds. Woo, come on here Jesus. Pulling weeds. And the presence just beginning to fall. Woo, come on here now. And I'm just saying God I thank you. Lord I thank you. Oh my God listen. I'm going to tell you right, I'm going to tell you right now, come on here, Jesus. I was pulling weeds, the very thing that chokes out the beauty of the grass. Why? Because it kills the grass. But God said, we got to remove those things that is choking you out. Oh, shout out. I'm going to see how Come on here. Oh, God, I thank you. Mm, I thank you. I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to get out of the way. But, man, when you get into the flow of God, hear me. The flow of God. He's already said that he has heard your cry. Get into the flow of God, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Go ahead. Run that. Let's get it. Woo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm not even, not even going to try to attempt to sing that song. But the spirit of the Lord is in the airways. Jaira, he's watching over me. He's watching over us. So, oh God, I can stay right there in that praise. Jaira, he's watching over me. The Lord is watching over me. Oh, my God. Just, just think about that. Just about for five seconds. He's watching over me. Like mom and dad used to. But now, 
He's watching. He is my mom. He is my dad. He's watching. He's watching over me. He's watching over you. Oh, let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Open up our understanding. Open up our understanding because the your flow is in this place, God. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Mm. Oh, my God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will exalt. I'm still in Psalms 34. God is still moving amongst the people. All of the stuff that is going on in the world, he's still creating blessings and, and things and things that you don't even imagine. He's already set in place for you. So let me go over some outlines of what we've been discussing oh my God. over the last couple of weeks about David. David had a discussion praising the Lord. David had a journey seeking the Lord. David expressing God's goodness. David had an advice to do good. But in that last of last week, in that last verse in 14, I'm just going to paraphrase. He said, pursue. Pursue him. Pursue God. Pursue him. And now this week, David had an awareness that God is watching him. We already sung the song of saying God is watching us. God is watching us from 15 to 22. Psalms 34 to 15 and 22. And watch how it starts. Verse 15, and I'm going from the NIV, the New International Version, and the King James. It says this in the NIV. It says, the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their cry. The eyes of the Lord is on the righteous. Watch what it says in the King James. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The key word from both of those uh, 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 versions of the scripture it says in the NIV, it says, on the righteous. In 15, upon, on and upon. His eyes are on you, but also is upon you too. So his eyes are on you and in front of you. And his ears are open to your cry. Most of us was just crying because we know God is watching. But do you have you ever given a glimpse of sin? Oh God, can you hear my cry? What was your cry today? What was your cry yesterday as all of us? You know, uh, from Texas all the way to Maine, was watching the moon go in front of the sun, and it became black over the earth. Do you know, can you imagine if you was on the hill? I don't want to go that far. I, I, just, just let me be quiet here. Oh, my God. So so his ears are is, is attentive to his his children's cry. To your cry, to your cry, to your cry. Let me go to 16. 
it says this in the NIV. It says, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. To bolt out their name from the earth, to blot out, to blot out their name of the earth. That's from the NIV. In 16, it says this. For the face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the re remaining rebundance of the of them from the earth. So let me go into my notes. I, I, oh my God. Oh, I'm not trying to rush tonight. I just want to give you something that it rocked my world when it was doing uh, my studies still in 15 and 16. Yeah, I, I still had my split screens up. So I was just reading, just going, you know, back uh, what we've been talking about. And I'm going to give you some references tonight, um, some questions here tonight. Can you imagine God's face is over you? Whew. And he's watching you? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let me go here, let me go here. Oh, whoo. It says this. The eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous. God is always watching. But this statement goes deeper than this. He is watching in order to help those. Oh my God, let me go back here. He is watching in order to help those who seek after him. He is watching over you because you're seeking, you're pursuing, you're, you're flipping over your couches, you're flipping, you're, you're, you're pursuing, you're, all your actions, all your actions. What is one of our things that we say, apply the word, make the word come true to you, make, make it an action, it is action what the lord is doing for you he is seeking those who seek after him i'm seeking after him i'm not gonna sing i'm sorry i'm not gonna sing tonight but i just want to i just want to go and and just teach tonight i'm not preaching but i'm seeking anybody in here seeking the lord because he's seeking after you. Oh my, my, he's seeking after you. Woo! He's seeking after you. Now watch this. God's desire is to help you. Hit, look, God's desire is to help you. You cannot do life by... Mm. You cannot do life by yourself. This is what God is saying. He's seeking after you because he knows your desires, but at the same time, he wants to help you. What is that? I'm, I'm not a wife, but uh, 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 um, um, I was a husband. But I was, I, I was a helpmate to my wife. I was a helpmate to my children. I'm still a helpmate to them. And God has said, I want to be your helpmate because I'm coming back for my bride. I'm coming back for my bride. I can't do life by myself. God, <laughs> Woo. can you throw something in the chat? Throw your hands in the chat and say, 
I can't do life by myself because he's seeking. I, I can't even imagine myself without God. I can't. I really can't because I know before I was 18 on the April of 18, 1988, I knew what kind of character I was. But the night I got saved, I was at a revival. Yes, I was, you know, halfway seeking. I didn't know. I didn't understand. I didn't know God like I know him now, but I knew of him, but I didn't know his heart. But I know he was seek. I didn't know at the time he was still seeking after me while I was trying to seek after him, but I didn't want to seek after him because I didn't want to go in the I couldn't do life by myself. So the night I gave my life to Christ in 1988, guess what? I still seeking after him. His love, he loves you more than you can even understand. What is what what is God's love? What is, what is the love that you have for your number one thing that causes you to get excited? I'm, I'm, let, let's talk about the things that you love to do. What is the things that you love to? Some of you love to go swimming. Some of, a lot of black, a lot of African Americans don't like to swim. Okay, but this is one guy that likes to swim. Um. Some of us like to ride motorcycles. Some of us like to walk. What are some of the things that you enjoy the most, that you love the most? Mm. Do you know God's love is 101,000 greater than what you love the most on this earth? Do you know that the love that you have for yourself, God's love is 1,000 greater? 1,000 times greater than what you ever imagined. It hurts him when you go your own way. Oh my God. It hurts him when you go your own way or try to solve things with your own ability rather than going to rather to going to him it hurts him when you try to solve some situations trying to get into your deep thoughts i can do this myself you know you, you know how some ladies are i can do this myself Or some fellas, hey, look, Doc, or hey, look, man, I know what to do. But do you know he is sitting right there because his eyes are still watching you? And your ability does not have no greater things. His thoughts are not your thoughts because his thoughts are greater than your thoughts. So let us stop hurting God. He's watching. But we're trying to do some things in our own ability rather than allowing God to do the things so it will stop hurting him. Ooh, God. Mm. Ooh, this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Is this good to anybody? Raise your hands in the chat. Throw some hearts, you know, on, on Facebook, uh, uh, um, wherever you are, Facebook, Twitter, um, um, YouTube. God, woo! So watch this. Watch this. Tell somebody, I'm a, I'm, my ability is weaker because God's ability is stronger in Him. Mm, 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 mm. God, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. There was one, once a boy who was playing in the sandbox. Now watch this. I'm gonna just give a scenario. He was playing in the sandbox and a large rock was in, in it. And he went to move it away. He wanted to move it away. 
but it was really heavy. He tried and tried to push it away. Leave it, pull it, roll it, and etc. What am I saying there? You might have something so heavy that you can't even do nothing. You might have a heart issue. You might have some other issues, some other organs that is having some issues. Just had a friend uh, the other day, this uh, had surgery on his heart, open heart surgery, young guy, young guy, about, about my age, young guy. Came out uh, really well, you know, um, it was some other people that I knew that was there in, in, in his room. They said, that, you know, the doctor asked him to um, open up his eyes and say the names. But do you know when you have an operation, sometimes you can't say the name. So this little boy uh, 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 had a rock in the sandbox. What type of sandbox do you have? Woo. Let me see that again. Let me say that again. What type of sandbox do you have? And you cannot push the rock away or you can't push your trouble away or you can't pull it away, but you got to leave it there or you got to roll it away. Ooh, but nothing works. You trying to push it, you trying to roll, but nothing works. He tried and tried to push it. He got angry because not everything he tried to do did nothing. Finally, he came inside and gave up and complained to his father. Everything that you tried, everything that you did, everything that you gone through years and years, you started to complain to God. God been there, been watching you. He been sitting on the beam of seat, you know, sitting back and said, go ahead. You know, I'm staying, I'm, I'm right here. I'm right here. Man, I, I'm right here. What are you complaining about? I am the father of all fathers. I am the God of all gods. Why do you try to do it yourself? Mm. You cannot do life by yourself. <laughs> His face is against the wicked. Oh, my God. Let me say this in 17, it says, no, in 16, it says, but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil and he blot out his name for the earth. Let me go to 17. The righteous cried out, cry out. And the Lord hear them. He delivered them from all things, from all their trouble. 17 in King James, the righteous cry, and the Lord heard us and delivered them out of all their troubles. He delivered, listen, everything that you are going through, he is delivering you from those things. He's delivering those, he's delivering you out of your troubles, of your heartaches, he's delivering you. He's delivering you. Anybody in the last 72 hours, has God delivered you out of something? His face is against the wicked. Once clear, explain of this, in Haggai 1. The more they invest, the less they receive. 
the more that they invest, the less they receive in return. Ooh. One and six and 11 through nine. We see some, hold on. We see something amazing occurring in their lives. It is this which God wants them to step back and consider it and recognize the profounding truth, the profounding truth that the truth God, the true God waited them to recognize is so what i'm saying is god wants you to recognize the truth that he has you and he's watching over you verse 18 in the niv it says this the lord is close to the broken heart and save those who are crushed in spirit. The Lord is so close to you. He is close to you. He is close. When your heart is broken, he is close to you. He is close to the broken heart. When was the last time your heart been broken and saved? And save those who are crushed in spirit. He's, he's close to the broken, but he saved the, 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 the crushed heart. That's in the NIV. In the King James, it says this, the Lord is not unto them that are of a broken heart and save such as be of a good spirit, a kind of spirit. 19. Made are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them out of all. Mm. Anybody in here been delivered out of some situations? Watch this. Watch, watch what 20 say. And I'm going to give you something. Watch this. He protect all his bones. Not one of them was broken. So let me go let me go to the cross when he was hanging on the cross. And and, and if you study how um he was hanging on the cross at that time uh um that he didn't die because at that time he still had so much to do. And um when you are uh, studying the cross and you're studying the crucifixion, you're studying Jesus, how he was hanging, um, that when he took a breath, he had to bounce off of his legs to, uh, to cause breath to came up because he was, he was stretched wide. And, and, and in those times in the crucifixion, you know, he had to take a, <sighs> so he had a, a bounce off the nail because if the Roman soldier took the brick and broke his kneecaps and broke his legs, he couldn't get a, 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 any air out of the, 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 the airways, out of his chest, out of his lungs. So at the time, he knew he still had things to do on earth. But at the same time, he still had sin on the left and sin on the right. And, 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 and the one that was on the left, he said, if you are the Messiah, if you are Jesus, I would, you know, I, I want to go with you because I believe that you are the son of man, that you are the God of gods. And he said, you know what he said, even though he was hanging and he was crucified, he had a, a crown of thorns and he was about to get stabbed in his side. He said, I will see you in paradise. He still had an assignment to do when pressure was on his lungs, pressure was on in his wrists, 
and pressure was in his uh, um, um, ankles. Pressure was on his feet. He still had an assignment. That's why the word of God says no bone was broken. Pointing in the King James, he says, he keeps up all his bones. Not one of them was broken. Not one of them was broken. How many times that your bones been broken? 21, it says this, and I'm almost done. I'm almost done. 21, it says this, uh, evil will slay the wicked. Evil will slay the wicked. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. The foes of the righteous will be condemned. That's in the NIV. Let me go to the King James, what it says. It says this, evil shall slay the wicked. Evil will slay, King James says, evil shall, will, shall slay the wicked. And they that hate the righteous shall be disliked. What do that mean? Destroyed. He's watching over his children. And if you got some wicked haters and he's, your wicked haters are about to be destroyed. Oh, this is leading up to something. This is leading up to something. Oh, 22, it says this. In the NIV, it says this. The Lord will rescue you. The Lord will rescue his, his servants. No one who take refuge in him will be condemned. That's in the NIV. So take refuge in him. You will not be condemned. In the King James, it says, the Lord will redeem the soul of his servants and no and none of them that trust in him shall be disliked, destroyed again. So if you take refuge, but you got to pursue it. If you take refuge, you got to pursue. If you take refuge and you know that God is watching you, you will not be condemned. I just want to give you some 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 observations, some questions. I want to ask you some questions tonight. It says this, and, and one question says, says this. What does it mean that the eyes of the Lord are towards the righteous? What does it mean that the eyes of the Lord is towards the righteous? I hope that you write these down or they on the chat. What does it mean that the eyes of the Lord is on the righteous? Two, what do you think the result may be for a person if the face of the Lord is against him? Hmm. What does it mean? If the face of the Lord is against, let's say you, what does it mean? 
What does it mean that the face of the Lord is against you? How does the Lord comfort the broken heart? How does he comfort the broken heart? And how does he save the crush in spirit? Just some questions. Has there been a time in your life when you accept this? Now, what does that mean? Have you ever explained the time that the Lord, that you knew the Lord, that you knew the Lord was watching you? And how do you know at that time that the Lord was watching you? How can we understand verse 19 in light of the fact that some seeing righteous people may live through the major, a major of things of their lives facing afflictions? What does it mean for you to live through afflictions for the if you the righteous how can you live through an affliction what is some of the, the affliction that you live through how can we understand in verse 22 in light of what we know from the new testament What do we know in light? Man, this this is good to hear tonight. This is good. You know, you know, when we come to Psalms 34, we only, you know, we only really talk about, you know, uh, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yes, we're gonna bless him at all times, but we gotta go a little bit deeper. Watch. Watch this in, in, in John 13, I mean, 19 and 36. It says this, John 13, I mean, 19 and 36. These things happen so that the scriptures will, would be fulfilled. Not one of his bones will be broken. Hmm. Romans 8, it says this. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. If you are in Christ Jesus, you might worry about this, but you know, wearing is a sin. Whatever you worry about, I don't know what you worry about, but it's a sin. So tonight, I'm 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 practically done. But when you say I I I I I exalt, I um I exalt him, I will bless him. Make sure that you are pursuing what you're speaking about, what you're talking about. And you pursue that God is watching you. His eyes are over you. Man, that is so profound that you know that God is watching you, but you gotta pursue him. You gotta pursue him. I wanna talk about something, but I can, God said, be quiet. But I just want to say, when you know that God is, he said, I can say this tonight. I can say it tonight. I can say it. Do you know um, 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 when, when, when Moses 
was was uh, at this time he was 120, and God told him that uh, I, I'm trying to. He said just say, that he knew uh, uh, um, he couldn't cross over the Jordan, but <sighs> that at the time he couldn't cross over. But he told Moses that uh, Joshua was going to cross over. And that's all I can say. That's all I can say. Only one thing I can real, real say that um, that um, you are, uh, 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 you know, we, we just watched the um, all the uh, final four and the final two for the NCAA. And there's a move that a lot of uh, 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 kids are doing and in the NBA. It's called a crossover. Somebody, somebody is about to have a crossover because God is going in front of you. He's going to cross. Let me be quiet here. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. I, I can't say where it's at, but let me be quiet. But God is about to cross. He's about to cross you up. Let me be quiet. So I'm, I'm done here tonight. I'm done. I'm done. I, I'm done. He's watching. And 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 I know some of you are saying, God, I thank you for watching. So I'm done passing, take it over because somebody's about to have a crossover. Oh my God, I'm seeking, I'm seeking, I'm pursuing, I'm pursuing him. God, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, thank you tonight. Thank you tonight. Uh tell somebody uh, that Jesus loved them and 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 pursue him because you know God is watching. Go ahead, Pastor, take over. Mm the flow come on here now i'm pursuing come on i'm pursuing jesus what a songwriter said i'm chasing after you no matter what i have to do because i need you more and more yeah come on here now i'm pursuing oh shout out oh glory to god i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna even mess with it I'm not going to mess with it. Come on here now. We thank God for Pastor Massey and his willingness and his yes. Listen, I, listen. y'all better leave me alone. I've been, I've been talking uh, I've been talking with my brother, and I, I, I promise you that I literally just told him, I said, listen, you got to begin to seek after God to find out what is this that is taking place. What am I saying? You got to pursue the Lord. Oh, my God. I'm going to leave that thing there alone. My God, it's something about that. When I pursue after him, guess what he's doing in return? He is pursuing after me. Oh, shot. Woo. Mm. Because I remember, I began as, even as I was reading the word, I can't find the scripture right on hand. But it says, the more you draw to me, the more I'm going to draw to you. What are you saying? When I pursue after you, Lord, he's pursuing after me. Oh, shot. My God. Woo. Ah, oh, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. This is when you begin to understand truly that the Lord is my shepherd. Ah, uh, I'm going to leave that alone. Hallelujah. So we thank God for Pastor Mass. We thank God for his willingness and his yes. So we're going to go and pray. We're going to go and get out of here. I hope we all see you all on Sunday. Uh, Sunday service starts at 9.30 a.m., Amen. So, Father, heaven, Lord God, we bless you now, God. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your merit, for your, God, we thank you for your uncommon favor. God, we thank you, oh God, for your grace. We thank you right now, oh God, for what you have done on this day, oh God. Father, I thank you, oh God, for even Pastor Mass and his obedience to you, Lord. And so, Father, I pray that you even begin to restore now in the name of Jesus. God, for everyone that have heard your word, oh God. Father, God, that they begin to exercise and not just take it as the knowledge, but begin to dig deeper into it and begin to exercise it, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, and Father, we tell you thank you right now, God. We give you glory and honor. Father, even as we depart from this place, but never from your presence. God, that you continue to be with us even as we go throughout the rest of this week, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, we honor you now, God. We give you all glory and honor. Father, we say this prayer, your daughter, son, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Turn to your neighbor say, neighbor. Pursue after the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, we love you all. We will see you all Sunday morning at 9 a.m. for service. Hallelujah. Y'all be blessed.
I'm chasing it.